All right, guys, thought I'd do a video update. Been absolutely hectic this week. Um, obviously, got back from Spain. Been in London for a few days. Um, April and the kids are in Barcelona because they've had to go and do their passport renewals. So, yeah, spent a few quid this week. Um, but I just thought I wanted to go over the point of um, why it's important to play it forward all the time. There's so much negative media out there. Um, it sort of drives everything on negative focus. Because that's that's what we're told. It's like... It's... Um, very little good news stories out there. But it's surprising how much a bit of a positive impact can impact a lot of other people. Um, I always remember a guy years ago, he had a limp, I can't remember what was wrong with his leg, but he was always very funny, and it wasn't the case of he was trying to be funny or he wanted to be a comedian or something, he just had all these mannerisms that just made him funny and had his um, stories about stuff like when, when he was on the bus and uh, well, he, even trying to get his, he was trying to get the give the money back for his operation that led, led to his leg because he's going well I'm back at work now I don't need the, the money and they say no no that's yours it's now your mobility and I say but I don't need an allowance I've got a job very funny guy you know in the sense even that become a story of arguing where he was trying to give money back to the state because he's seeing himself as well he doesn't need it because he works and then obviously they're refusing to take the money off him um, yeah, I know some of you guys are already thinking the same as I do, is don't you wish more people were like that? I think a lot of the economy would be in a better state if they were. Um, but this is the thing, is a lot of the time you may not directly see the impact that you can have on other people. Um, it's a bit like when I went out to the Philippines for years. It was only once I'd moved to Europe I started to get people come out of the woodwork that they've been following me for years. Um, not commented, not said anything, but then they bumped into us or <coughs> they suddenly come, you know, start attach, send me emails and stuff. Um, and then you start to see a bigger picture where people have gone out to the Philippines or um, most recently we're in, in Spain. Um, we went to uh, I think it's Murphy's Murphy's Bar in Torrevieja, and um, one of the subscribers actually came up and shook my hand and says, "Ah, oh, we're in Torrevieja because of you. We watch your videos, keep it up." Or, you know, it's all, it's all like very very positive stuff, but you often don't see it. And it, the reason I bring that forward is quite simply the YouTube stuff's quite a, it's, a, it's a bigger bigger sort of. Um, you caught an event I don't know but some of the stuff can be quite simple like the the miserable old Spanish guy that used to ignore me when I used to say hello to him every day and then when I was gone for a, we moved house for a year and then when I come back he was very chatty because it obviously although he was moaning about me saying hello to him and ignored me and you know whatever is in his mind at the time you know whether it's all that these Brits keep coming over here or whatever it was his mindset had changed because it's when you realize that guy was coming in and saying hello when no one else did he went out his way to you know befriend me and whatever and I used to sit and moan and ignore him but he still did it and me I could have been the frustrated guy and got annoyed with it but I actually took up the positive side that even if he was annoyed and frustrated um, it didn't ruin my day. In fact, it made my day a little bit more positive because I know he was going to ignore me. So you just do it on purpose then. You know, there is no, I'm, I'm going to be your friend whether you like it or not. Um, and it, it, you know, it's those little things that can make a difference. And like that, when I went back, he hadn't seen me for a long time and obviously goes down to the car park and there's no Matt there anymore. Where's Matt gone? That guy normally says hello to me. <coughs> And that's, that's a small thing that has a positive impact. A bigger thing can actually be where you've influenced people to change in life. 
Um, funny enough, I, May May's one of the guys that live in the the same house as I rent in Northampton. Um, and we were discussing it this morning about the financial crisis in the UK and and how the majority of people in the UK are one paycheck away from bankruptcy and all this sort of stuff. And then you go right, and he's going, "You've got it, you've got it sorted." He says, "Because you're 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 like me, you think like an Asian." That's what he said to me this morning. He says, <coughs> "I've seen you, you know, my Instagram." He's going, I've "Seen you in Spain." Next thing is you're in London. And, uh, but you're not buy buying a big Range Rover. You're not trying to impress anybody. You, you're, you're spending money where you need to spend it. And the rest of it, you're, you're accumulating it, you're doing stuff with it, but you're not generating debt. You're not um, trying to overdo it. I mean, like this, this is a, what's it, Peugeot 106, 107. There you go. That's how much I know about my own car in the UK. The only thing I was interested in, small engine, reliable, and as cheap as I could get away with. It's not a Range Rover, it's not Porsche, it's not Bentley. It's as cheap as I can get away with. Because cars depreciate, cars don't hold value. Um, but also, you know, if you go, well, what if you have a big meeting? Well, I'll go on the train. And they go, oh, well, you know, even if I drove there, I could park a car park away, and they go, oh, I've got the train in. Nobody's any the wiser, but it, why does it matter? Um, so, so the point being is, this bit about playing it forward can be much more complicated in the sense of recognising that if you're a bit older and wiser with money, teaching people young is important because they've been told everything the opposite way around and by the time they get the knowledge of um, how to pay it forward they've accumulated debt you know it's like this oh you need your first house or you need this or whatever but there's nobody sort of promoting out there why don't you split a house up why don't you buy a house with your best mate or whatever or three of your best friends <coughs> get the first one paid then you buy the next then you share the mortgage then you buy the next until you've all got your houses keep your debts low live a bit more humbly short term but long term you'll end up where you want to be and I think that's a far more important lesson than going oh you need to go to college and study this uh, multimedia studies course with a lot of debt attached to it that you may not get a job with um, yeah it, there's a lot more to just pay playing it forward and paying it forward um, I was listening this morning to what's his name uh, not Sammy Davis jr. what's the uh, uh, the actor that plays Iron Man I, I forget his name but he was talking about Mel Gibson. Now I remember, this is another important thing. I remember Mel Gibson being completely off the rails. It's sort of like I lost interest in him for, for a while. But he seems to have come full swing, but you don't really see too much of the positive stuff. But as he was saying to Junior, I can't lie, so I forgot his name. Somebody's gonna fill in the gaps for me. Um, he gave him an acting role where no one else would. He turned around and made it, part of the problem is to actually look inwards and see where, you know, um, where the issues were, because a lot of them are self, self-inflicted. Society today is a very strange one because it's all like society's fault, it's everyone else's fault, blah, blah, blah. But if you can't look inward, you'll never correct it. Because a lot of the stuff is ourselves. You know, I know, you know, if somebody, um, is in the wrong, come all, you know, wants to argue or whatever. I've started to go back a bit because before I used to dig in. These days, though, I'm sort of more like, what? Why do I need to do that? What's the, what's the output? And that's a key thing I, I say a lot more, and I, I learned that from a guy in Hawaii. Um, what is the output? Because if there's no output, a positive output, it's not worth doing. You know, for example, arguing with somebody, 
they may be an idiot or they may be that they've got a different perspective or whatever but if there's not going to be an agreement or whatever don't waste your time you know because perspective's an important one though I'll, you know it's a bit like when you've been out in the philippines or somewhere else where life's a lot more cheap the perspective can be very different to the way it is in the west um which you've got to understand once you start looking at things you start to realize there's more to life not everything is so straightforward because different people have different ways of thinking and different responsibilities and getting your head around that can make a big difference um, in how you see others and learn to listen rather than speak because a lot of time it may be you're missing something Sundays, free parking all day. There's one thing I realised. <coughs> you know, it's you know like when people have more kids, when you've got a big farm or whatever, it's because they're expecting some of them to die. Harsher reality. Yeah, here in the West, we're talking about people being touchy feely on their feelings. Where in other parts of the world, they don't have that luxury. Too busy trying to survive. Uh, sounds bleak but it's not it's just seeing there's other perspectives out there because there's other things driving you know need over choice is, is another thing because I think in the West we get too much um, wrapped up in first world issues but if you actually look at the way go left or go straight He's going to get beat by the car behind me. Oh, he doesn't know where he's going. Sorry, a car in front of me just stopped while he's trying to go somewhere he can't. Um, yeah, first world issues. Because it's a bit like in the Philippines, you know, I've had, um, I've been approached before to, um, for some money to pay for a child's coffee. Um, or even, well, my god, this guy is useless. This guy's trying to kill me today. Um, what are they doing? It's the tiniest car as well. Um, yeah, but as I was saying, um, getting sidetracked because you really into me. Um, so you get, you'll get things like where you're paying for a ch child's coffin and the child could have been saved and the family could have afforded the medical um, medical costs. And then over here you'll get people screaming at you over, I don't know, somebody spilt tea on their suit or... Ooh. I just hit the bottom of the car, what the hell have they done there? I'm not having much fun with the driving today, I'll tell you. I've got to check my tyres, I don't know if they're low, because I've just, just bumped on the speed bump. Um, yeah, but it, getting back to what I was saying. But <coughs> you'll get things where it's about perspective. Where, where, what is a real issue? You know, people go, oh yeah, you know, this all went wrong, blah, blah, blah. You're like, all right, well, what is it? You know. Oh, my window doesn't shut, and somebody could break in, and da da da. It's like, okay, well, we'll just get it fixed then. Noise gone, problem solved. But people make out it's the end of the world. Now, you may, you in your world, you may not see this stuff, but I'd get it all day long. Everything's an emergency. Everything's a problem. Everything's the worst thing since. Uh, Worst thing that's ever happened, and you know, nobody helps them, and blah blah blah. And you're just like, all this stuff is very trivial. <coughs> and the reason it's important to recognize is the pain of playing it forward or paying it forward thing makes a difference. Because, like, there, instead of getting antagonized and annoyed with it, you just think, yeah, you're moaning that you, you've ripped the window handle off your window and it's not locking now. Is that really a crisis compared to somebody who lost their child and they've come to ask you to um, contribute towards their child's burial? 
um, because they can't afford it. I don't think your life's so bad. You know, and this is where I sort of go with a lot of stuff is just step back a little bit. A lot of people have first world problems, but often is connected to other things. Problems at home, problems with their kids, problems with, you know, I don't know, problems with work, problems with relatives with drug abuse problems or uh, all sorts of things, debt and things that are gonna be there tomorrow but you know what if they're there tomorrow why are you fixated on it today if it's gonna be like getting out of a mortgage you don't fix a mortgage in a day not unless you wear uh, bet all on red <laughs> <coughs> you know you'd have to win something to be able to wipe it out so quickly so don't become fixated on it you know whether you like it or not you bought into it you bought that property you signed for it you agreed to it now don't get me wrong i don't think the properties in the uk are worth as much as they're being driven at um and there may be a market correction but at the same time you still need somewhere to live you still bought into it um just recognize that the responsibility on that stuff is yourself um, I know some people may grumble at that, but that's the reality. I just had my interest rates double on my mortgage. I wasn't kicking and screaming about it. You know, I focused last year to pay a lot of it off. So I'm actually back monthly wise where I was last year. Am I moaning the fact that I paid over 20 odd thousand extra on it and it has very little impact on a monthly basis? No, because on the long term, I've paid 20 grand off early. Doesn't matter. Um, but it's all perspective. It's, it's actually being able to go, okay, things happen, move on. There's always tomorrow. Most problems are short term, mortgages and stuff are long term, but then if it's long term, don't make it a short term issue. It's going to be one of those things that you just got to live with and move past it. That's life, mate. Enjoy it. If you're not, you're just going to constantly be, be getting dragged down. You've got to get past that day-to-day -day crap stuff and focus on how to get out of it or what do you want to achieve, where do you want to be, what do you want to do. Um, you know, as uh, Stephen said, I seem a lot happier and relaxed in Spain. Yeah, that's, that's home for me. Um, but we've moved miles you know in a, a short period of time in a few years we've bought the house we've renovated the house we've got it nearly paid um we're in a much better situation than many out there could have gone the other route bought a place in the uk sentenced myself to a life of servitude and debt but instead i take take my little uh, bolt hole as a my mini prison but it's short term um the long term is oh, thanks for sharing your crappy music um yeah um i look at the fact that it's a short term problem i look at the fact that in the long term i've actually reduced it from being 20 odd years to a five-year window because you make the sacrifices by keeping your costs down and investing in your long-term stuff um that's all about paying it forward um i need to the guy behind me i think i need to show him what earbuds are <laughs> i mean i don't know who, why people play loud music these days I, I used to do it when i was a teenager i gotta admit but my goodness set of earbuds it'd be, be well away <laughs> all right um Oh, I'm not going to get onto Bose here, but anyway, because I've had some serious issues with them in UPS. That's another story. Going backwards and forwards, they lost. They lost my return ones. And I'm trying to get my replacement ones, and it's been going on for now a month. So, but that's another story. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm back in sunny Northampton. Back in London next week. And I'll probably go over to Spain the week after. Things look like they're settling down. I know it's a bit wary because with COVID and all the other problems, COVID, Brexit and everything else, a bit wary these days in actually uh, trying to plan 
because something seems to disrupt things on a regular basis, although we still adjust and carry on, which is the key to everything. Right, thanks for watching.